At the height of apartheid, when most black people were deprived of opportunities, Matthews Mohafe refused to back down. No matter how tough things were, nothing could stifle his ambition and drive. From selling fruits on the streets of Guatema in Gauteng, he now owns a company that employs hundreds of people. Matthews Mohafe, a self-made millionaire. He's behind the highly successful funeral services company B3, the Batuba Tsubakopani Group, a well-known brand offering posh funeral services. Matthews grew up very poor. His current lifestyle of wealth and luxury was something he could never have imagined as a boy growing up on the brink of poverty in Guatemala. Raised in a family of 10, Matthews did whatever he could to keep his household afloat. I never really uh, sat down because even whilst I was still at school at primary level, you know, that's when I started, you know, selling oranges, you know, peanuts. And with those monies that I was receiving, I was, I was getting, you know, I could also assist, assist my, 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 my brothers and sisters. He lived on this meager income for years, remarkably even sending himself to college. As soon as he completed his marketing and sales diploma in the late 70s, Matthews started working hard. And at that time, uh, one was just doing a lousy clerical job, you know, for the old uh, uh, Bantu administration. And though the old apartheid policies weren't offering meaningful opportunities to black people, Matthews was always ambitious. I had to branch, being influenced by one of my friends who was an insurance rep, you know, one whilst he was looking at him and saw the success. He found a job at a local insurance company, but still he wasn't satisfied. That's where I decided, you know what, maybe it's high time, you know, one becomes independent. And it was during that time that uh, with two other, you know, guys, we then said, can't we start something? And we started our brokerage company. In 1991, B3 was born, selling medical schemes and insurance policies, services that were in demand at the time. By the late 90s, the company had become a big player in the industry. But with all their eggs in one basket, the company faced a serious crisis when one of its clients wouldn't pay. Uh, we are owed close to about seven million by, by a company, and guess what? We could not. They did not get give us that seven million. We had to decide whether we must take them to court. Uh, and they came up with an offer of five hundred thousand. Matthews had no option but to accept it. A wise entrepreneur who knows how to turn adversity into opportunity. He reinvested the 500,000 rand he was paid in another idea, funeral services. In 1998, this new business venture revitalized his company, surpassing his earlier achievements and becoming an inspiring success story. We started introducing things like, you know, catering. If, if, if you check today, you know, and look at the funeral industry, it has changed so much, and we as B3, we pride ourselves. Now a philanthropist who invests in an education center for disabled children in Guatemala. You must start somewhere, and please don't discourage yourself by thinking too big. There you have it. That's it for this week. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.
Concept News, ENCA.com.